Eric Mwadith, mother .com. Let's take a look at ELLI and we can see here with about 15 minutes before the market open for July 28th, 2017, the stock is called to gap down about 20%. So let's take a look at the charts as of yesterday before today's down move. And a couple of things. If we begin here with the weekly chart, we can see a failed breakout. Early in the week, we're trying to break out above the prior weekly closing high from this week. Right there. And the price it was trying to move above was 113.64. Now, that was a failed breakout. As we know, failed breakouts are notorious for taking stocks lower. So that was a failed breakout, a warning sign. Keep in mind now we can see before today's gap down, today being a Friday, we can see that there was an attempt to make new highs, but this was coming at the expense of the technicals which were making lower highs, so that negative divergence could also be another reason why the stock is reacting negatively. Now if you take a look at the daily, we can see as of yesterday's close, now we can see clearly here there was a breakout attempt that failed. And that failure to hold above the previous daily closing highs here was a warning sign. Now keep in mind also, we can see that the highs, this improvement to new highs came at the expense of the technicals. In fact, we can see here that the RSI did not move above 61.8 while it was making these highs. So this RSI movement here was negative divergence and the worst type of negative divergence because you're making new highs but the RSI fails to move above 61.8. That was also another red flag. Now let me show you another line that was also coming in play and this is the previous break line. So you draw a line, should be like there and you can see that we had broken below the line here of those highs and since then it's been resistance. And the recently we tagged that line there on a backtest failure for the highs. So there was another warning sign. And we can actually even draw it a little different by going back and figuring out where it broke down. So this break here brought the stock lower of those highs. We're coming back to test that level on the uniformity test and we see here clearly there was failure. So that was another warning sign. And one more thing here, we can see that on the monthly chart, the stock was still unable to move above 69.1. We can also see an improvement to new highs, but at the expense of the technicals. So the setup was there for a drop. So I'll come back in a couple minutes after the market opens in about 10 minutes and see what the charts look like. All right, now that the market is open, let's refresh this monthly chart. And you can see here, what we are getting here is now confirmation of that negative divergence and improvement to new highs over the last couple of months. Technicals were rejected when trying to move above 69.1. That in itself was a sell signal. We take a look at the weekly, see what we have now. And the weekly is having this huge drop. Why? Because it is cracking below RSI 50. Whenever you move below 50, you tend to have a reaction in the direction in which you are moving. For example, here, we moved above 50, you get this big up week. Here, we move below 50, you get these two down weeks. Here, we are seeing one massive plunge as the RSI cracks below 50. We take a look at the daily now. And the daily is now cracking below the magic number of 30.9, which is just a reason why we are seeing this absolute massive gap down. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!